Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. We're still having this face-off with the sailor here. You. Just get closer. There you go. Jitter over there. Man, this guy is not backing up. Anyway, in the last episode, we made it over to Gatian Port. Uh, found Zook, the roided up freak, uh, who got beaten by... Um, well, by some very interesting, shady customers, let's say. One of them, Mr. Verich, is apparently is incredibly rich. So, what have you got to say since we've kind of been sort of staring at each other for about a day? Uh, a button, thank you. That luxury cruiser moored behind the parts shop belongs to Mr. Verich. That really it? You've been, you've been waiting so long for that? Disappointed in you. I am disappointed. I'll walk off slowly and run. All right. So this is the part shop, I believe. So let's just have a quick look in here. Hello. Hi. Do you want something here? The shopkeeper's out right now. He said something about having to go out to Doctor Kamin. Uh, what was it now? Well, that doctor's manor is where he went. He said his grandson, Purr, will be back from repairing the rotating bridges, so I'm supposed to mind the shop until then. I don't know where anything is, or how to ring up a sale or anything. I have no clue what to do. I suppose it doesn't matter, though. It's really quiet here. I'm getting awfully bored, really. If you'd like, how about you help me while some time away? I've got a tale to tell that you may find interesting. Ooh, tale. Why not? When I was younger, I sailed all the world's seas as a navigator. Our world is huge, and this huge world is filled with incredible profusion of Pokemon. Of all the Pokemon in our world, the one that I found the most interesting is Eevee. Now, Eevee is a unique Pokemon. It can evolve into five different kinds of Pokemon you see. <coughs> That's now uh, eight, by the way, so there you go. Jeez, they certainly like Eevee. Who can blame him, eh? Eevee's great. While I sailed, I studied Eevee quite exhaustively. As a result, I obtained five items that are the keys to Eevee's evolution. Oh, you say that you're raising an Eevee? What a fortuitous coincidence. This must have been meant to happen. Well, let me commemorate this occasion by giving you one of the five items. There's no need to be shy about it. Go ahead, choose one. Alright, so... Here is where we get the stone or shard required to evolve our Pokemon, to evolve our Eevee. So, obviously we can uh, get the Water Stone for Vaporeon. Has the ability Water Absorb, changes water into health. Any water attack that comes to us becomes our health. Not too shabby, actually. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Also, Vaporeon is um, very tanky Pokemon. It's very bulky. It's quite good. Jolteon! We've had Jolteon before. Long time ago since I used a Jolteon, but, you know, um, it's also the... Well, technically it's not, because I'm also using a Jolteon in the streams at the moment. Uh, through random luck of throwing my 128 gigabyte USB stick into the air and seeing where it landed. Um, anyway, it has the ability Volt Absorb and turns electricity into health. Same with uh, Water Absorb, only for electric-type moves. Then we have... Flareon, the fire type Pokemon, with the ability Flash Fire. Powers up if hit by fire. So it increases, I believe, a stat. I think it might be its attack. Um, I think it's its attack, actually. But essentially, gets powered up if it's hit by fire. Not bad. Next, we have, obviously, Umbreon and Espeon. Both these Pokemon have got uh, Synchronize. Passes on status problems. So any status problem that this Pokemon gets, it'll pass to its opponent, which is quite nice. Um, Umbreon is the dark type. Again, pretty tanky, not too bad. And Espeon, which is fast and powerful, uh, but a bit of a glass cannon, you could say. And is a psychic type. Uh, when it comes to Espeon and Umbreon, uh, when, when um, Master has one of these shards, and the Eevee is sufficiently friendly, it will evolve upon leveling up. So, friendship still happens with these two, but um, you don't need to level... But uh, Essentially, you can just have the shard instead. We're not going to be using uh, Espeon or Umbreon here because obviously I use them extensively in Pokemon Coliseum. 
I'm also not going to be picking Jolteon because I've already shown off Jolteon in my Pokemon Green Let's Play. My first ever Let's Play. I know it was about 10 years ago, but still... Well, since when I'm recording this, it's been just over 10 years ago since I started that. But still, we're not going to be picking Jolteon. Flareon's an interesting option, I guess. Um, it's... It's not bad, actually, uh, I guess. You know, I mean, in comparison to all the Pokemon we've got here, Flareon's alright. It's okay, in my opinion. And then there's Vaporeon, and I quite like Vaporeon. Um, it, it reminds me a lot of my Suicune uh, in Pokemon Colosseum, which was my best Pokemon by far. So, yeah, let's pick the Waterstone. That Waterstone will make an Eevee evolve into the Pokemon Vaporeon. It's easy to make your Eevee evolve with that Waterstone. All you have to do is use it. Would you like to have the Waterstone? Indeed I will! Fine, you can have the Waterstone. Just like your Eevee, it's invaluable. And we have obtained the Waterstone. You're so lucky, big brother. Jovi wants something too. No, you get nothing! So, we can now, with the Waterstone, evolve our Eevee, if we want to, um, into Vaporeon. I'm going to wait a little bit, not much, because um, Eevee's, Eevee's level 10 right now, and I think maybe Eevee gets an attack before, um, before I want to sort of evolve it, uh, so we can get its uh, stat up, so we can get its stab move um, around sort of level 15, so... Probably going to evolve it around level 14, level 15, I think, on that one. Anyway, let's have a quick looky through here. Hmm. It's an interesting way to do it, I guess. Why not? Why, why motorize it? Just put all the bridges on each side instead. That would be a stupid idea, that. Whew, that settles that. All fixed. You want to talk to me? Yeah, the part shop is ours. Huh? You need a machine part? Where's Grandpa? He's gone off to Dr. Kaminko's? Ah. When my Grandpa gets excited over some mechanical thing, he's off like a shot. Never mind the shop or his grandson. Me. I'll find that machine part you need. Can you... Can I get you to come to our shop? I seem to remember you, Per. From Pokemon Coliseum. Were you one of the kids' grid? I think you might have been. Man, Grandpa should be so lucky to have a caring grandson like me looking after him. Indeed, I guess. We're going to leave the part for the moment because there's stuff to explore here. So let's, uh, do a little bit of turn in. Yes. Alright. Let's have a look in this house here. Let's do a bit of exploring first before we uh, do the machine part. We'll do the machine part last. What you got to say, my friend? There's an island far from the coast of Gatian Port. It's surrounded by vicious ocean currents. However, so no one can go near. Of course, everyone around these parts knows better than to go near that island in the first place. Hmm. That's an interesting area that we're probably going to have to check out much later in the game. I mean, you can't see it from here, so... You know, what, what, what good can it be? Who knows? Let's just do a bit of this. Turn that over there. So we need to do it two more times. Get back over there! <clears throat> there you go. Nearly there. Nearly there. And we're there. There you go. That allows us to get over to the other side, so that's quite nice. Again, what's the point of the rotating bridge? I don't know! They could have just done it normally, but never mind. Hello, you! Hi, welcome, youngster. No words need to be spoken. No questions need to be asked. We shall battle, yes? Indeed we will. Aye, good answer. A battle with a feisty lad is one to be savoured. Let's go! Nice, we get a little battle here against casual guy Kyle. <coughs> Spelt with a C. Okay, he's got a Talo and a Ladybird. Very entry-level Pokemon you've got there to kick off. Go, Eevee and Teddy Ursa! The normal brigade! Oh, he's got a shadow Pokemon, is he? It's the Ladybird. Would have preferred the Talo, but never mind. 
Okay, Eevee, uh, I want you to try and... I want you to try and damage Ladybird a little bit. Uh, so, with the, uh, with the Shadow Pokemon, they don't just have Shadow Rush, or the equivalent of Shadow Rush. They've also got other moves. Um, also, this Teddy S has got pickups. So that's quite nice. Got pretty good attack. It's better than Eevee's attack right now. It's pretty, pretty nice. It's got Shadow Blitz, which is a, just a 40 base power, um, 100 accuracy move. Essentially, it's the Shadow version of Tackle. Uh, shadow moves are typeless, so they can hit anything for normal effectiveness damage. So there you go. And Shadow Mist. And a status move, uh, a Shadow Auris sharply cuts the user or the foe's evasiveness. So I guess like Sweet Scent, you could say. Alright, I guess. I believe you can get better Shadow moves later on. Um, anyway, who did I have Eevee attack? I think I had Eevee attack Lady Burst, so you attack! Wow, Lady Bird is quick. Goes for the Shadow Blitz! Actually gets a super effective shot off, really? Maybe it's just super effective against everything, I don't know. That's a little bit of damage, I guess, on Lady Bird. Gonna need Teddy Ursa here to absolutely destroy Taylo. Oh yeah! That's how you do it. And Taylor is defeated. And Eevee's up to level 11. Nice. HP and special defense. Oh, well. That's, that is going to help with evolving Eevee into Vaporeon, at least. So we got that going for us. Right. I am going to go for another tackle here. Uh, while I'm going to try and level Pokeball with Teddy Ursa's turn. So let's try that. Let's go and huck some Pokeballs. Snag ball go! Nab him! I told you to bring it back. One! No! God damn it, Lady Burr. Going for another Shadow Blitz. This is going to be pretty bad. Because you keep hitting Eevee. Stop hitting Eevee. Stop it. Right, Eevee, go for the tackle again. Crit him! Ah, never mind. Alright, he's on yellow. Probably try one more here, but that'd be risky to do. Uh, let's go for a sand attack. To try and uh, get rid of his chance to hit me. That'd be quite nice. I ain't got many Pokeballs left, so you better give me some game. Quite nice. Chuck it! Nab him! Come on. Down and B, I guess, because A makes too much noise. Yes! There we go. Ladybird has been caught. Our second Shadow Pokemon. Why didn't this guy have one? I don't even know. Would you lose? No, sir. Indeed, you would not lose. And Ladybird has joined the party. Nice. It's nice to have a, a quickish Pokemon at the start of the game, I guess. Hmm. Too bad. I guess I lost that one. That machine you have on your arm. It's quite the get-up. The way the lights pulse and all. It's mighty impressive, whatever it is. I thought for a second there that you'd taken my Pokemon. You serious, mate? Have you, have you not noticed you've already got one left? You haven't. <clears throat> See you later. Hang on a minute, let me just check. Hey, hang on, I haven't got me. No! Now I'm stuck here on this bloody island. Well, sod you, is what I say, sod you. Right. We've got this little lighthouse here, which we're going to be going into next. But let's have a look at these items. There's three more Pokeballs there. Good. I was running a little bit low. Something over this side. Nope, doesn't look like it. All right, let's pop into the uh, into the lighthouse. The lighthouse does have some, uh, just some normal stuff, really, I guess. So uh, let's just go in <clears throat> and use this elevator. And then we'll use the stairs to get down. That's how we'll do it. We'll go to the top of the elevator. Right, is there anything up here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Is there anything around here at all? I believe there's some battles up here, if I remember correctly, but, uh... Check to see if there's no items around. Doesn't look like it. You're right, mate! You see that island in the distance out at sea? It's always obscured by clouds. If only those clouds weren't there, we would get gorgeous sunsets at dusk. Indeed you would. I guess there's no... Yeah, I guess there's no it uh, no items here. Never mind. Hello. You there. You look like a trainer to me. Somebody gave me a wickedly tough Pokemon. I'll test it out on you. Okay. This is definitely going to be a Shadow Pokemon. Bodybuilder Killin'. 
How many Pokemon you got? Probably two. Zubat and Poochiena. Um, I'd be fine with either of these. Zubat would be nice. Scrobat's great. Eevee's running a bit low on health, though. Teddy Earth has got all health left at the moment. Yep, one of them is a Shadow Pokemon. Zubat! Ah, okay. Poochiena is still good, though. Again, it's another it's another Pokemon that turns into a pretty decent Pokemon in Mighty Enna. Not bad. Let's try and get some damage in on Poochiena while I go for the Shadow Blitz on Zubat. Tackle, attack, roll into a ball! Not much damage at all, really. Here comes the Shadow Blitz. Ah, not very effective. Maybe it's just very effective against Pokemon that aren't Shadow Pokemon. Yeah, that seems about right. So they're super effective against Pokemon that aren't Shadow Pokemon, but if it's Shadow Pokemon versus Shadow Pokemon, it's just not very effective at all. Fair enough. Let's use Shadow Mist here, because I've, I've learned my lesson from the Ladybird. Right, that's probably enough for me to catch it. I mean, it is... Oh, it's got Shadow Hold. That's a new move. What does that do? Oh, essentially, it's Mean Look. Okay. <clears throat> it's not like it matters, but never mind. Shadow Mist! You are mystified! And your evasiveness falls harshly! Nice. Now I have definite chances to smack him in the face. Let's go for a tackle and we'll try and level another Pokeball. How many have I got? Five? Yeah. Yeah, I've used three already. Caught two Shadow Pokemon, though, so only one failure so far. And let's hope this one's not a failure either. Here we go! Nab him! Come on! One, two, three. Yes, we got Poochiena. Very nice. Yeah, just like in Pokemon Coliseum, I'm going to try and catch all the shadow Pokemon here. That's what I'm going to go for. This Pokemon was too weak. Indeed it was. Hang your head in shame, you. I'll take your Poochiena. So we have got a bad set of Pokemon here, I guess. Yeah, you feel like you were conned. Um, this Poochiena is probably going to be a beast at some point. Let's see what we got here. It's alright, I guess. I mean, he's got Runaway as well. He's got Shadow Blitz and Shadow Hold. Ladybird's got really good special defense and speed. And it's got Early Bird, which is a decent ability. Um, awakens quickly from sleep. Not bad. It's got Shadow Blitz and a move Shadow Shed. A shadowy aura eliminates reflects and similar moves. Nice! So that move gets rid of, I'm guessing, like, walls, like, reflect and light screen. Not bad. Not bad at all, that. Alright, now let's make our way down the, uh... This place here, just see if we can find some items. You're not an item. When I look down from the top of the lighthouse, I get frightened as if I'm being sucked down. But the sensation of falling grows on you. Jeez, what way to bring the mood down, mate. It's supposed to be a let's play of the game. <laughs> Don't bring the mood down with that dream. <coughs> right. Moving onwards. Items, 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 items. There's an item box. There's one. Get me over there to the item. Item! It's an awakening. Not bad. Immediately gets your Pokemon back from... Uh, wakes itself from sleeping. Not too shabby at all there. It's nice to get some simple items, I guess, so I'll take it. What do you got to say? Whew. Huh. Now you're a rare child. Most people would take the elevator. Youngster, are you doing this for exercise? <laughs> uh, no. No, I'm almost certainly not. I'm, j I'm, I'm doing this for items, not exercise at all. And, speaking of items, another item box over here. Paralyze Seal, nice, recovers paralysis, not too bad. Eliminates the paralysis. And there's one here as well, brilliant. A potion, nice, restores 20 health to a Pokemon that has not fainted. Brilliant. Okay, so with that, with the lighthouse sorted, and we just got a couple of extra Pokemon there, so that's not too bad at all. We can also leave via this way. And let's go into here and have a chat with some peeps. Like you! I lived in Gatian Port for many, many years. I've never seen a cruiser that grand or luxurious. That cruiser all looks capable of sailing anywhere in the world. I would surely love to sail on it. You see, the guy is talking about uh, Varys' cruiser. 
Because for some reason, Gatian Port, the citizens of Gatian Port, just seem to love the guy at this point. Right, we're going to have to do this a couple more times, I think. Just to get us to where we need to be. Yep. One more should do it. So go back over there, please. This is boring and tedious. Cool. Don't get me wrong, but boring and tedious. Also, I could just jump off here, so not safe either. Screw you for not being safe, game. Anyway. Let's move on. Oh, we might as well uh, go to the parts shop while we're here, actually, because we're going to be going to the uh, east side of the map while we're here. Sorry we were out. A machine part, you said, right? That's right, Per. It's nice to know he's uh, helping out with the shop. For all that time with the kids' grid, fair play. I'm fairly certain Per was part of the kids' grid. I'm fairly certain. <clears throat> here it is, here it is. This is it. Here you go. And we obtained the machine part. Lovely. It's a rare item, that machine part. It took a while to get it in order to get the order in. How's your director, Professor Crane, doing? Mastrath explained what it had been happening to Pear. Ha! The HQ's lab's director was abducted with uh, by goons with shadow Pokemon? Please tell me, Michael, that you didn't tell him about the whole crane kink thing. Please don't! I've been through something like that before. Who would have thought it'd happen again? I hope the lab's director's found. I'll be rooting for you, so don't give up. Cheers, mate! We're probably... Are we going to be seeing you again? Probably not. Who knows? Yeah, we, got a, we got a nice selection of Shadow Pokemon, though, in this episode. So, uh, good old Shadow Hunt. Anyway, the Pokemon Center is right here. Is this the Pokemon Center? Yes, it is. The Pokeball's there. Lovely! Please, heal my team, healing lady! There's never a healing bloke in these games. Sexist games! Where's the healing bloke? I want to say healing bloke just once. But no, it's always healing lady. Never mind. Blame Pokemon Yellow for that thing becoming a thing. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go for a break here. But in the next episode, let's play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. We're going to be hopping about for some reason. Nice. Get get those, get those calf muscles working. Those ankles working. Don't break them, though. And I'm going to be going... Further down the east of the map of Gatian Port. I'll see you then.